Welcome to a new vlog. I literally look like complete ass, but that's because I've been doing so much like home improvement stuff. Like literally my room right now is all over the place because I did some Craigslist things, not Craigslist things. I actually got a new couch, which is right here. I'll show you guys it later. But right now I just figured I would start the vlog right now because why not? Currently I'm actually painting the door frames in this mini hallway because it's like this ugly gray situation going on right here and I this is like the only place in the house where I still have not finished painting it aside from the living room so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that but yeah so everything is literally a mess and looks disgusting and I look disgusting and yeah I just uh, figured I would show you guys because I don't know it's nice to see a little before and after so I'm gonna go ahead paint the baseboards in this and honestly I might go ahead and do it in the living room too because I'm on a roll and I just want to get it done because I've been procrastinating this for like months on end it is definitely a new day now and um, last night honestly I'm not gonna lie I didn't finish it but there's so many different like home improvement stuff that I want to do in this vlog but actually right now we're gonna oh my god Dude, not gonna lie, I just choked on my spit. But today we're gonna be actually going to Apple Hill because my birthday was like a couple days ago and it's the weekend now. So James and I are just gonna do that just because Apple Hill, it is outside if you guys don't know, it's like kind of in the Sacramento area. Okay, it's not in Sacramento, it's like far out. But if you're from that area, you're kind of familiar with Apple Hill. And yeah, we're just gonna pick some pumpkins, maybe drink some apple beer. And again, everything technically out there is outside. So it's gonna be, nice hopefully with like social distancing and you're probably gonna have to wear a mask so all of this highlighter on my nose this lip gloss is literally a freaking waste but I want to show you guys actually my outfit so it's actually getting kind of dark so hold on again my entire room is a mess because that's actually what I'm gonna do in this vlog is we're gonna actually rearrange my entire like beauty room so it is a mess but it's fine so this is what I got going on you know it looks like basic whatever but my favorite are these cowboy boots literally I think I threw thrifted them last year they were pretty pricey i think they were like 20 dollars, but they were brand spanking new and i just love how like the black and white matches with this and i finally busted out this old juicy couture purse actually hold on so you guys can see it in all its glory okay this is the worst lighting ever but like look it has a little charm that says juicy we are gonna go off and do some fun adventures we have a hard cider and a puppy that's in jail i'm not gonna lie to you right now <laughs> But I am wasted, okay? I'm actually, I know this sounds weird. I literally had one apple cider and I feel absolutely plastered. Like I'm maybe filming this right now and I may look back at the footage and I'm gonna be like, but we're not done, okay? Cause the whole reason why I wanted to come was to pick pumpkins. So that's what we're gonna do. I had a lovely greasy quesadilla and I know you guys are gonna be like, Viola, your diabetes. Like, why are you eating a quesadilla? My sugar was at 76, okay? I was hitting the lows. I really had to eat something. So I was like, you know what? My sugar's dropping low, so I'm gonna eat a quesadilla. But now we're gonna go and pick pumpkins. Are you ready with your quesadilla? He's mad. <laughs> Cause he's my DD. You know that I miss you, but I'm conflicted. The way that I feel about you No, I should not feed it And if you were the answer To all these questions I think I'll be a man first Admit that I made a mess here Yeah, I made a mess here Well, I made a mess here 
Oh, I made a mess here yeah. Those letters you wrote I buried them in moving boxes To keep the memories honest How do you write like an angel And yet you bite like a spitfire Like that October in Salem My safe haven. All right, I'm not even gonna lie. It's definitely 7 p.m. and I am drinking a black coffee. Why? I have no idea. I'm not gonna give you guys like exactly a room tour. Let me know if you do want like a more in depth, but I wanna show you the way I rearranged it and I am so happy with it. So let me show you guys the couch first. This is the couch that I ended up getting off of. Facebook marketplace and I don't know why I just said that all weird but here is like all the details I hope you can see this but James ended up getting this for me for my birthday um he didn't like surprise me with this I saw it and I was like okay I that's what I want and I originally wanted to actually have this in the whole other like depop space room slash gym area but it looked way too weird it was honestly too big so I thought you know what let me put it in in my like little room that we got going on and can I just say it was the biggest bitch to get it into here I can't remember if I showed you guys this but it was like really funky because it's just like such a small hallway right here that it I honestly didn't think it was gonna fit in here but we managed to make it work so you know if we ever move I have no idea how we're gonna get it out probably through the window but yeah so this is where my vanity used to sit and as you can see this wall now is completely blank, which is kind of funny because if you guys remember, I think it was in like two vlogs ago, this is the whole wall that I was trying to redo and now it's going to be this wall and I'm really upset because I was actually at the thrift store not that long ago. Okay, it's like really dark, but I was at that thrift store not too long ago and there was this huge amazing painting. It literally looked like it belonged in the Palace of Versailles and it had this amazing gold frame and I was gonna buy it. But then I thought to myself, Viola, you literally have nowhere to put it. Don't get it. And it was only like $17 and the thing was huge anyways point blank it would have been perfect for above this couch but you know just my luck uh it was not there I went back to the thrift store I mean I saw that painting like literally over a month ago so I don't know why I thought it would still be there however the reason why I'm telling you guys the story is when I went back today I did find a gold mirror okay and that gold mirror is going to end up going in the little a gym area so it's going to be kind of like my gym mirror and it was a little bit pricey i'm not gonna lie it was 75 dollars, but i have to go pick it up so i will show you guys that tomorrow and i'm literally getting so off track now i just wanted to show you guys how i did everything so let me just get back up and show you as we can see you know we have my open closet and then this is where we have the couch we will find a picture one day that's just what i'm gonna put on there we will see and i stacked this coat rack again i'm not gonna give you guys like a full tour if you want one i'll let you know i just wanted to show you guys how i rearranged it but we have my desk area and then this is where i have the setup so it's pretty Pretty much exactly the same I just you know like flipped it around as far as my vanity but I ended up keeping this there and I like how it kind of ties in now all my jewelry is kind of in one area because before I had like half of the jewelry 
right here. I had it um, horizontally, not vertically, and it physically just couldn't fit with this mirror here. So I ended up just setting that there. Now it's just, you know, easy to reach with the little skincare fridge. This is my friend's company. I'll link her down below, you know, because you want to support the small businesses at this time. But yeah, and then, you know, we have our little mirror here. And if you can remember, okay, from my last or two vlogs ago, I couldn't figure out how to put everything. And I said that this mirror looked really funky with the gold with this. So that's why I never put it there. But now, because we have all these different golds and brown tones going on, I feel like it doesn't look as weird right there so that's why I put that there and that's pretty much you know I'll give you guys a whole other overview situation but that is currently my dressing room situation and we have Corella just on the floor you know that's why I have all these blankets laid out because um, you know the cats like to scratch on everything so I like to lay out as many comfy blankets as possible as we can see Jean was already sleeping on this earlier it's like a perfect little indent but yeah that is pretty much it you know I'm just obsessed with this wall right here I don't really know what else to say actually I do want to show you guys something so like I said it was my birthday a couple actually it was pretty much like a week ago at this point the first thing that I got is obviously Lana Del Rey's poetry book and I feel like it fits the aesthetic of the room really well like with this couch how cute is that but another thing I mean if you guys do want some book recommendations I also picked up well I didn't pick it up I asked for this for my birthday is how to stop worrying and start living by Dale Carnegie he also has the book how to win friends and influence people I think that's what it's called. I have that book also. I really liked it. And this is supposed to be another good one. And then I have like six other books that are like in the same order. But it got like back ordered or whatever. So I'm waiting for that. However, I did get some things. I actually wanted to share this with you guys. So Mariah got me this. And I'm not sure how they're going to look. I mean, I could already tell these are going to be bomb. So if you guys know my whole situation with my eyelashes about these. Where I literally can't find them anywhere. Okay, not these right here um i am literally still saving this because i don't ever want to forget what it looks like but these are literally my favorite lashes ever like to die for they are my favorite and i can only find them at tj maxx and marshall's however ever since um tj maxx and all those stores opened back up i have not been able to find it like at all i don't know um if they just stopped carrying these but i just can't find them there anymore and every time i go back i'm hoping to find them but mariah like the best friend that she is knows how obsessed i am with these and because tj maxx and marshall's is literally so far away from my house anytime she goes there she always tries to search them for me so she did see these when she was checking out and it's these hello kitty the cream shop and if you can see them like that and then if we have this lash actually can you guys see that the difference between so this is all one length versus this one right here as you can see it gets um a little bit longer these are probably going to give a more cooler like cat eye look so you know i know i get questions about the eyelashes so if you guys can't find those at your local tj's then maybe check these out okay because this she got these at tj maxx because they were like super duper on sale like literally these were 30 cents which is unreal because i love eyelashes like this for sephora again i asked for all of this because i'm someone that i don't like gifts i know that's weird okay that's weird because i just asked like what do i want for my birthday i want this but i'm not someone that just likes random stuff i don't like clutter so if someone asks me what do you want i will literally say nothing and when i say nothing i mean it like please don't get me anything however if i am running out of stuff and it just happens to be my birthday i'm like you know what I had no more night cream left so I was just using my regular moisturizer so I decided to check some things out and this is um, from my grandma I made like the Sephora order from her this is the Ren clean skincare you can't even see that okay this is like the worst lighting ever but this is the ever calm overnight recovery balm so usually when I do night creams I use um, more again of a moisturizer but this one is a bomb like it literally feels like oil i don't know if you can see that but it literally applies like oil and i really like it because there's literally like no scent to this i mean it has like a scent but uh 
moisturizing scent if that makes sense you know it's nothing like crazy not really fragranced and I don't know I've been using this for about five days now and I really like it um, I don't know I'll give you guys an update but a little bit goes a long way and I just like that I'm pretty sure this is like really clean skincare too yeah so it has like the clean by Sephora check thing and yeah I've just been trying to find a really good night cream and I like this so far again it's not like really a cream it's a bomb but the other things that I got is I've just been hearing so many good things about how you need retinol and also the ordinary so I got I have no idea how to pronounce this but this is the ordinary niacinamide niacinamide something 10% with the zinc 1% and Jessica actually uses this a lot I'm pretty sure she has this one and we were just on the phone and I was like I don't really know what to use and we we're just talking about you know like nighttime skincare and she uses this and I've also heard you know a lot of good things about this so I decided to pick this up I have not used it yet because I kind of forgot how to use it I don't know if you're supposed to use it every night every other night so I have to call her again to kind of make sure but I also love the packaging like it's very sleek and chic retinol by the inky list so I'm pretty sure it's like the same thing kind of like the ordinary where it's a newer item not a newer item um a newer brand but not a newer brand where they spend more time on the actual product versus the packaging so that's why I feel like it's a little bit more affordable and that is what this looks like so again I have not used these at all these are brand new but I'm gonna be using this at nighttime I know that when you start with retinol you really want to um, not to use it every single day like when you're first starting out you want kind of want to build up to it again I'm not really sure but if any of you guys were curious so I can tell you that this is gonna be kind of like my nighttime skincare routine kind of like my new situation and again these two products were fairly inexpensive as well like not expensive at all I'm sure you guys literally already know this but I just had to share it with you because as you guys know I'm literally so cheap like I literally thrift everything and I tried to find scheming my way into getting free stuff all the time and I personally like to order off Sephora now instead of going in I mean obviously corona so it's not like you can just be walking into places but um I like ordering off Sephora because they always have so many like little codes that you can get where you can get all these free samples so let me show you guys how many freaking free samples I just got can we just talk about literally all of these free samples just because I ordered online I mean obviously this is the birthday gift but I do want to say if you guys I'm sure you guys have heard it but this is literally like the best smelling moisturizer on the planet one time I actually got the body glow of this but it was like an impulse buy and it was too expensive so I ended up just returning it but you best believe if I had just all this money I would be getting the body glow again and the moisturizing of this so I love that they had this as like kind of their birthday gift because it literally smells so good and then like for some points I also got this Ren um, the same thing as my overnight cream but this is the tonic I'm pretty sure this is literally just toner so we're gonna try this so again it was kind of like my hundred points I like it again because your point system you just get to choose from way more things versus if you're in the store and then I also got this Sunday Riley serum I've talked about it before but I like to scheme my way into getting all my serums from Sephora samples because serums are just so expensive so anytime I run out of serums I just get literally it from the hundred point system so I could get it for free and then I also got this little moisturizing thing I have no idea what this is but I'm excited to try it and then I got all of these as hair care so usually they do something with like hair care or um, sometimes they'll do like a skincare pack I of course got the hair care stuff because uh, my hair was really damaged since I last bleached it and there's literally so many like look at all of these masks there is all of um, some shampoos and like conditioners they have Moroccan oil and just like really good brands like so many hair masks to try and they actually had the shampoo and conditioner of this as a sample and I actually tried it today and can I just say that I am literally obsessed with it like um, first off it has that signature scent where it just smells so good I actually want to go 
and buy it but i'm not sure if it has sulfates and things like that so i have to check on that so if it doesn't i'm probably not going to get it again because i don't want to damage my hair more than it already is but yeah that is pretty much it actually oh my god i didn't even show you guys the bats in my living room so let me show you that and then also i never showed you guys the crown molding because i painted literally everything remember how i said i put the blanket there specifically for the cats she did everything in her power to knock this down and nuzzle her way right there and she loves laying on these so i don't even know why she did that anyways let's go this is literally so pointless because it's so dark that i had to turn on my bathroom light but it just looks so much better from before you know because we have that ugly heater that doesn't even work but i feel like it makes everything look so much more chic and then of course when we walk into the living room i did actually end up painting all of the moldings and i just think it looks so much better i obviously have to touch up all the reds because as you guys know this was boarded up so we actually had to add some more molding down there but i want to show you guys the bats so i ended up actually wrapping it around and like having them fly into the tv but can i just say a bat fell from there, a bat fell from there, a bat fell from there. They're all over the floor as we can see and I've been doing this all day. I have picked up those damn bats from the ground like 50 times and I've even used the little sticky things that it comes with like multiple times. Like some bats have even four on them and they're still falling off. So I have to find a better solution. I've even stapled some into the wall. You think I'm lying? No, I literally stapled it. Do you see that staple? All of them have fallen at one point. But other than that, you know, I still think the bats look really cute. I just think it just looks like such an adorable Halloween-y vibe. And yeah, that's it, okay? I think tomorrow we're going to get the mirror so I can show you that. And yeah, I think that's it, okay? I'm going to go and vibe out. And I'll see you guys tomorrow when we pick up the mirror. Easy to be misunderstood. No one knows I'm acting every time they're asking. Make them believe that it's so good. Faking smiles and laughing, playing like I'm happy all the time. The girl who can do everything. Never bothered by anything. Crying till I can't cry no more. What the hell am I crying for? Keep saying I'm okay, I'm okay Telling them I'm okay, I'm okay Even though my scare is running down, down my face Really, I'm okay, I'm okay Smoking, honestly, I'm lonely. My mind is somewhere else again. Scrolling through my Insta, don't wanna get into this right now. The girl who's down for anything, go out to forget everything. Crying till I can't cry no more. What the hell am I crying for? Keep saying I'm okay, I'm okay. Telling them I'm okay, I'm okay Even though my scare is running down, down my face Really, I'm okay, I'm okay I don't know if the color is gonna grasp it, but this is the mirror this is the one that was 75 dollars and um it's not staying here again it's probably gonna go in the whole gym area but like i kind of like it here because it's like right by the front door and it i don't know i like the background i have never really had a mirror like this where i could properly show an outfit and i feel like this is kind of good but i'm not sure who knows i just have kept it here because i need to clean the other room but when I picked this up, I actually also went and got um, 
and I actually went to more thrift stores. So let me show you guys what I got from there. I went to this mom and pop thrift store and I got so much good jewelry. So as you guys know, I pretty much thrift all my jewelry like I do with everything just because I feel like you can find some really cool, unique pieces. So the first thing are these little hoop earrings, but I loved the pearls on them. I think these were four dollars. I really liked these and I liked the thick hoop of this and then I also got some more regular just style hoops. I think these were yeah so these were four and then I've been wanting to get a type of like tie earring situation and of course I can't really like afford the ones that are online so these I feel like are perfect. These were three dollars and then I also just got this mini chain and I believe this was four dollars as well and it has like that versace inspired print i also found this playboy bunny denim purse i think it's so cute it is a little bit um if it's gonna focus dirty like right there but i still think this is so cool i rarely ever find anything playboy so when i saw this i was like are you joking i forgot to include it in my little the rift haul where I did all my yard sale things and this was one of the jackets that I found like are you freaking kidding me this is the coolest thing ever it is like ripped a little bit right there but I feel like I could easily fix that and I just think this is like the coolest jacket ever and I'm so excited to wear it when it starts getting like a little bit more chilly. I want to show you guys the stuff that my sister got for me for my birthday. So we have this thing. I'm not sure if it's like a candle holder or what but I am obsessed and she did thrift all of this this cute little heart candle holder I am probably gonna put this outside I feel like this is just an outside vibe and then these this is what I am literally obsessed with so she got me two the other one is in there but these are like little bees do you see see all of that how unreal this is giving me gucci vibes to the max down to the color like look at that i have no idea what i'm gonna put in here but i'm probably gonna put this in the kitchen and i don't know maybe i'll stash some peas in here i have no idea but i am in love like this is gucci vibes i'm obsessed corella's obsessed with the glares she needs to <laughs> relax look at her what She's just dodging me right now. Also, look what they did. I got them a cat hammock, and instead of vibing out, they decided to chew on it. So, that was great. That was a waste of $20 that I did get at TJ Maxx. And then also, we have Stevie right there. 